Hi, I'm Rain. I'm going to be one of y'all's vets this year, and I'm going to show you how to do makeup for the last day of camp, and you can also use this for football season. So, to start, I'm going to go in with a primer. You don't have to do this. This is completely optional. Um, I just use it because it helps my makeup stay on better, and we're going to be dancing this for a very long time. So, we're going to go in with that. Next, this is mandatory. Um, the next couple of steps will be, but... You can use pretty much any brand of foundation that matches you. I would suggest blending it down to, like, at least your neck because it doesn't always match perfectly and they're always really weird. Um, but you can use whatever type you want to and make sure to do your entire face with it. I'll be back when my foundation is done. Okay, I'm back. Um, I did put some concealer on, too. I used Shape Tape. You don't have to do concealer if you don't want to. I just do because I don't want to look dead. Um, so next, in drill team, you always need to have blush, especially on the field because the lights are shining on you and they're not going to be able to see, like, your face form if you don't have things that, like, define it. So you need to make sure to have a lot of blush on at camp. Don't go too crazy with it, but I would say put a decent amount on so that they can, like, see you, so you stick out, you know? So, next... Um, I would go in with some, uh, like, loose powder. It doesn't have to be setting powder or anything, but, um, I just go in with loose powder. This one's from Maybelline. Um, it just, it kind of makes everything more smooth, and it helps with your complexion and all that stuff. And it's not mandatory, but I would suggest using it because it does help. It does help, especially bring some if you think you're going to, like, get really sweaty. So next, in drill team, you always need eyeshadow. It's going to be neutral eyeshadow. Competition, we could change it up a little bit. But for the most part, we're just going to be doing neutrals. Um, also, I'll probably do more blush later because sometimes powder takes the color away. But I'm going to do eyeshadow now. So... I like to always do an inner corner. You don't have to do inner corner. I just like the way it makes my eyes look. It makes them kind of pop. Um, this is definitely a concealer brush. Don't worry. <laughs> um, so start with a darker color on the outside. And go in your crease. To, to kind of define it. And then I'm going to do the other eye off camera once I finish this one. I have a mirror right here. Sorry, I keep looking at it. Um, so do a darker color in your crease so that you can define it. And then take a lighter color. You don't have to do like four colors or anything crazy like that. Just take a lighter shade or something that is lighter than the color you use and put it right there in the direct center of your eye. And then it's really just going to be a coppery brown color. Depends on what palette you use. Not everyone's is going to look similar, but the goal in Joel Team is so everyone looks the same. That is the goal. I'm going to do the other eye off camera. Okay. I also forgot to mention for the, the crease, I use a fluffier brush so that you can, like, blend more and get everything. And then in the middle, I use just more of a regular brush. Um, but, yeah. And if there's any fallout, you can just wipe that away. Add more powder. Um, sometimes if it's too bad, just add more concealer to it. Sorry. But... Yeah, so next, we're nearing the end. Uh, mascara. You always need mascara. In drill team, most of the time, she'll say natural face makeup, which is usually just like foundation and if you want to, concealer and powder. But you always will need red lipstick and mascara, no matter what. You will always need it because it makes your eyes and your lips pop so they can see your facial expressions. So, mascara. Even if y'all don't like to wear a lot of makeup, you need to be wearing mascara, especially at camp, because you're going to be a little far away from everyone, and they won't be able to see you as well. So, yeah, mascara. I used this one. So, yeah. Um, so, the next thing you need, like I just said, red lipstick. Also, eyeliner is optional. You don't have to wear eyeliner. It's optional. I'm not very good at it, so I don't do it unless my mom's doing my makeup, but I usually do mine. So, uh, the next thing you need is red lipstick. It can just be like a stick, red lipstick, like, this This is not red lipstick, but you know what I mean. This one is a stain. I like it better because I don't have to reapply it, but 
I'll come back when this is done. So I'm back with my red lipstick on. Um, I thought I had mascara on my eye. Um, so next, I'm gonna put more blush on first because I don't feel like I have enough on. Um, you can always go back in with anything if you don't feel like you have enough of it on. Um, eyeshadow, mascara, whatever it is. But I like to finish off with setting spray. A lot of people just finish off with setting powder um, because it soaks up all the oil. I like to go in with setting spray. You don't have to do that. That's not mandatory. That's just what I choose. But I will come back with a finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look. The four things that you absolutely need are the red lipstick, the mascara, the natural eyeshadow, and the base makeup. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see you all soon. Bye!